This is a stock Google Nexus S, which is just running the stock firmware with the addition of a single app Angry Birds. As you can see, there's not actually that much installed on the device. If we look at the device's status, it's running the latest version of, of Ice Cream Sandwich and the stock kernel. We've developed an Android rootkit that, unlike other rootkits for the platform, can function without a restart and without deep modification of the underlying firmware. But it can still do all the things that a rootkit wants to do, such as hide apps or redirect apps to, to uh, fun attacker's functionality. So we're going to install this, this rootkit right now. We call it a clickjacking rootkit because much like a web clickjacking attack, the user thinks that uh, they're, doing, they're giving permission to do something different than what the device is actually doing. So here you see a list of all the installed apps on the device. And we can do things like hide a particular app. So the calculator is now hidden. A couple of them actually. We can hide Angry Birds as well. Now when we go back out to the main screen where Angry Birds had been, it's no longer there. We look at the app screen, Angry Birds should be there and the calculator should be right after the browser and they're not there either. We can even go into the settings for the phone and take a look at the apps menu and Angry Birds doesn't show. But they're still actually on the device. So if we go back to the rootkit manager, we can unhide the calculator. And now it's addressable again via the, the app screen. But we can go further than that. Angry Birds is still hidden, but it's still resident on the device. So we can redirect the browser, which we'd used to install this rootkit earlier. We, instead of running the browser functionality, when the, the user clicks on a browser icon, we can have it run the secret Angry Birds functionality. So here, instead of the browser, we get Angry Birds. Now Angry Birds isn't particularly malicious, but if this were coupled with, say, a rootkit, that, an actual root exploit that would allow the rootkit to silently install an app in the background, we could put a cunning replica of the browser functionality that behaves just the same to the user, but steals banking information or session keys, things like this. So this has the potential to cause some real mis mischief. I'd like to close by showing that this thing is completely unrestricted in what it can do. We can hide every app on this device. And we've inserted a delay. You see the, even the things on the launcher are, are missing. We have inserted a delay on the, uh, the hiding process so you can actually see them wink out one by one until we're left with just a blank device. This uh, concludes my presentation. Thank you.